ask yourself this important question. What matters to you? What we're really proud of here at Cohen Children's Medical Center is our culture. The diversity of the families that we serve is unprecedented. We had a vision early on of really being the top children's hospital in the New York metro area. It's incredible. My name's Steve Barone. I am the pediatric program director here at Cohen Children's Medical Center, which is the largest children's hospital in New York. There are a lot of good training programs around the country, but what distinguishes ours is our patient population. We're the most diverse population in the United States. We also have the largest faculty in the New York metropolitan area, and we have the power of a large health system that's interested in education. So when you take it all together, it's just a perfect place to learn. I didn't want to just become good at taking care of like one certain type of patient. I want to be able to take care of various types of patients in various presentations. Like we're literally situated on the border of Long Island and Queens and so you definitely see that reflected in the patient population. It's an amazing location. It's a little bit suburbs but also close to the city. I live a 10 minute walk to work which I really love. Um, and I can go into New York City very easily when I'm off on the weekends. Queens as a county is one of the most diverse in the entire world with respect to where people come from and what languages they speak. If you look at our country, it's made up of a lot of different patient populations. So wherever you go out to practice afterwards, you'll be experienced. I've worked in a lot of great places in my career, but I've never felt as comfortable as I do in this building. I think we have a wonderful residency. We have wonderful fellowships. We are a state-of-the-art facility. We have over 7,000 kids that come through our inpatient units every year. So it gives you a sense of the breadth and depth of children that we see here. Being a large program and being a high volume program is incredibly important for training. You just kind of walk in, you feel the warmth from not just the physical environment, but also the environment that's created by the people that are here. So we have three medical surgical units here at the Children's Hospital. The neonatal intensive care unit is a level four NICU. It provides brain cooling as well as lung rescue using ECMO. Our pediatric intensive care unit is a 37 bedded unit. We perform therapies such as renal replacement and are in the process of developing cardiac as well as liver transplant. Every block is different, every rotation is different. The NICU, the PICU, the emergency department, the outpatient offices, you know, you see a lot of different things. Cohen's is a referral source to 70 hospitals in the tri-state area. We have an incredibly robust transport program. Our emergency department is a level one trauma center. We're able to see over 58,000 patients annually. We have a well-developed ultrasound program for our residents as well as fellows. We have two newborn nurseries here at the Children's Hospital that our residents rotate through. So you'll get to attend, you know, dozens if not a hundred deliveries and, you know, get to see really cool things there. And the family really view the pediatric resident as their pediatrician because they see them at the delivery. I still cry in every delivery. <laughs> we have new operating rooms coming which will be purely for children. We have a new neuroscience center, which we're gonna be building. We don't practice here in silos. There aren't attendings and residents and fellows and nurses. We all practice together, because that's the way care is best provided with the patient in the middle. In many programs, faculty clinic is considered a separate program. But in ours, our philosophy is that all patients our patients, no matter what your insurance is. I love that there's a lot of education here. We're part of a medical school that was incredibly novel and had a brand new curriculum, and that's worn off on all of the residencies here at Northwell. I like to think of ourselves as much like Google. We're on the cutting edge, we're actually setting educational trends rather than following educational trends. It's such a great place to train. It's such a great place to learn. I think our didactics are amazing. You know, we have specialists from all over the place who are really experts in their field and some of them really experts in really sub-specialized things that you might not get to see anywhere else. And if you're interested in critical care, we can give you extra time in critical care. You're interested in a subspecialty, you just time in a subspecialty. If you want to be a general pediatrician, we'll give you time in a private pediatrician's office. If you're interested in global health, we have a global health track. 
So one of the biggest joys in my career is being able to mentor the residents and the fellows, especially through research. There's opportunities for clinical research, translational, as well as bench-type research. Through Northwell, the research arm is housed within the Feinstein Institutes of Medical Research. And the goal for many of the fellowships is to be able to train independent investigators to go out and to continue to be academic. We believe that it's important not only to just understand what's going on in the academic world and be able to interpret journal articles, but also to be able to learn the research methods, perform it yourself, analyze, take it all the way to abstract and manuscript preparation. It's a skill set that's important that we think that a lot of our residents need and will benefit them in the future. Last year, we had residents present at 57 different national conferences, pretty amazing. To see them at these national meetings present next to their poster, it's always one of the biggest joys that I have. What's unique about Cohen's is that we actually have a fellowship program now for residents that want advanced training on how to be better teachers. So third year residents are teaching second and first year residents. You want to have the three uh, legs of the stool. You want to be a good clinician, you want to be a good researcher, you want to be a good teacher. And I think uh, with the COVID pandemic, I've learned another leg. You want to be a good leader. The program tries to push us and inspire us to figure out ways that we can impact change. When we think about great children's hospitals, we think about the clinical care that's rendered. We think about the great research that we're doing. But the other part of it is community-based. So the community pediatrics and advocacy rotation is a wonderful experience that residents just love. It is a four-week rotation. You do it in your first year of residency, and you're essentially working at various outreach organizations in the community um, to kind of to get that other aspect. During their residency training, they can be part of the Enhanced Track, a unique interdisciplinary two-year residency track that Cohen's offers, where you are in a longitudinal relationship with one of our community-based organizations. So that way, you partner with them over two years over a meaningful project. It showed how we aren't just doctors who come to work in the confines of a building, but our role is so much larger than that. The health system, Cohen's Children's Hospital, the residency program are incredibly forward-thinking, incredibly innovative, always thinking about what's next, always thinking about how we can make things better. The culture of the program really, you know, fosters support. Everyone really wants to see you do well. Whether it's faculty or fellows or residents, I tell them, look, we have all this stuff, we have all these accreditations, but the number one thing is the friendliness and the morale in this building is unparalleled. I really love my co-residents. I spend more time with them than I do at home, and so I just feel like when we're here, we don't just like come to like show up to work and then leave. You know, we bond with each other. So that's a big thing that I love about coming to work every day. I feel that the training here has really helped me grow. I can see how I went from a recent med school grad to a physician and Every day there's an experience that really affirms my reasoning for becoming a pediatrician. If you want to be average, there's plenty of places to go. But if you want to be a leader, if you want to be a star, we have all the opportunities for you to grow into that role. I think it's all the reason in the world to come to this program.